You are ordinary. An ordinary coward. But the ninja is a weapon. Behold! Almost as sweet as you. <laughs> What's up, fellow collectors? P Rockzilla back again for another review, and today I want to give a shout out to Diamond Select Toys for allowing me the opportunity to review this mini mate pack. They gave me the opportunity to review the Turtles mini pack, and I love the old, like the old school cartoon stuff. You know, Turtles. Uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Godzilla, stuff like that. So with them knowing that, they went ahead and gave me the opportunity to review this four pack. And this is the G.I. Joe's Mini Mates four pack with the four classic villains of Storm Shadow, Cobra Commander, Baroness, and Destro. Three of these characters are my favorite villains from G.I. Joe. Obviously, Storm Shadow and Baroness and Destro. I love Baroness, man. And Destro was a cool character with the metal mask. I was always curious how that mask moves and everything. But... It is what it is, and I'm happy, thanks to Diamond Select Toys, for having this set together, and I cannot wait to get these open, add them to my other mini-mates. Before we get the review started, please hit the like, subscribe button, and click the bell notification. So now, let's go ahead and get this review started. Dale! What's up, fellow collectors? <laughs> So let's go ahead and take a look at the package before we get the figures out the box. So right in the front, I do like the fact that they have the names right here, the code names right here. We have Cobra Ninja, code name Storm Shadow, code Enemy Leader, code name Cobra Commander, Cobra Intelligence Officer, Baroness, Enemy Weapon Supplier, Destro. And one thing that drew my attention right away when I saw this at New York Comic Con was the original packaging inside. Look at this. That's the, that's the original packaging, if I remember correctly. That's the same card and everything from the original Storm Shadow figures back in the days when these we were first released. And man, I can't wait to see like the drawings for Baroness and Destro right there. So right there, so G.I. Joe Mini Mates, uh, Choking Hazard right there. And then over here, you have the G.I. Joe, again, Mini Mates, G.I. Joe logo again. All the legal information right here. And then... So now one thing I do wish, I did wish that this had was, if you remember the turtle one I did, the turtle review I did, it did have like a little story right here of the turtles or whatever, and I kind of wish this was uh, something like that where it kind of had, like, you know, some kind of information on these characters right here real quick, and not only that, the turtle ones had a nice box, so I did see another, I'm not sure if they had another G.I. Joe one there, they had one other one there that the actual packaging looked like a, a VHS tape, I can't remember, so that one's super cool, you know, if I get that one, I'll definitely do a review on that one. But yep, so here we go. Here's the figures. Now, I can't wait to get these. Now, I want to open these. I can show you these packages, but I'll show you the next part. All right, so let's go ahead and get these out the box. Now, once you get this out the box, you can see right away how this is. But they have them basically, there's like a little clamshell right here that kind of clips onto here. That kind of holds into these peg holes. And you can see right there. And then right in the back, as you flip these over... Look at that. That's cool. See, so now what I, I take back what I said before. I wish I had a story in the back. Now they actually had the story on the actual back of the card instead of the actual back of the box. This is super cool here. You can't see it from the back because it's in that box. But man, look at this. It has all the other characters on there. I'm pretty sure there's another pack that comes with all these right here. I will find out from Diamond Select and let you guys know. But man, look at that. Each one tells you a little story. I'm going to pause that real quick. Tells you a little bit of the story of the character right there. Pause that one real quick. We want to take a, read that real quick. Uh, zoom in, zoom in. There we go. And then the last one right here. Want to pause that and read that. But yeah, man, this is cool as hell right here. I like this. This is cool. I love the fact that they have the original packaging right there. And there you go. All right. So now let's go ahead and get these figures out of their boxes so we can take a close look in 4K. Uh, all the details, the accessories they come with, and the details on the figure. So real quick, before we actually go through the figures and the accessories and the articulation, I want to bring to your attention real quick. So this is currently season or series two, I'm sorry. Series one is available and series one includes uh, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Roblox, and Duke. Diamond Select also confirmed with me that 
they actually have another one coming through. So last year they did a New York Comic Con exclusive set called the Ninja Force, and that set included Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, uh, Scarlet Professor Biggles, and that one came in that awesome VHS packaging I saw for the, the Transformers uh, figures they had. That's an awesome. I, one thing I love about these so far is the classic packaging they're, they're actually giving us for the figures. It just brings back that nostalgia feel, and I like that. It hurted me opening these figures right here. Like, look at this. That hurts me, man. Like, I wanted to keep it in the packaging. That that looks so damn cool. But anyways, Series 3 is currently in development. There's no characters announced for Series 3 just yet, but it will be a four-pack. And then they also have two other sets in development currently. The first one is going to be called Adventure Team, and the second one is going to be called Super Joe. I'm not sure what's in those packagings or what's going to come in those that's just what I was told so far to let you guys know. So, if you are enjoying these so far, there are more coming from Diamond Select in the miniature, in the Mini Mates series. So, keep an eye on that. So, with that in mind, now let's go ahead and look at the articulation and the figures. And first of all, my boy Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow looks cool as heck. I love the way. So, now one thing, the difference I do say before between this and the, and the Legos is basically these have a lot more detail, in my opinion. You can see all the detail right here on the, on the clothes, a lot more articulation. Now, these all have the same type of articulation. So, I'm going to go through articulation through on Storm Shadow. They will be all the same. If for some reason, maybe uh, Baroness were here, it might hinder some of the articulation. I'll let you guys know. But the head can go full at 360. <laughs> You can tilt, he can look up, he can look down, the arms can move up, as you can see, you can do um, up to almost a T-pose, you do get a 90 degree bend at the elbow, you do get twist at the shoulder, and that's it, nothing at the elbow, you get twist, of course, at the, oh, actually, yeah, you do, a little bit, but it's a little tight, you get twist at the wrist. The arms can go fully up and fully back. So, and then with him, he actually has these shoulder pad pieces that actually move. So you might have to realign that if you move this figure a lot. All right, so let's go fix that real quick. Waist, he does have the full 360 twist right there. Legs can go about almost a split. Excuse me. And then you can go forward. And you can basically do the, you know, the flips like the splits like this and stuff. So you could do the flying knee also. So you could get some pretty good posing on the legs. The legs do extend pretty good amount and has pretty good details right there. At the back over here, you can see there, 2022 Hasbro. Now, Storm Shadow, the good thing I like about him is he has his actual, the quiver, the, the quiver on his back. For his bows, and what we're talking about that, let's look at the accessories. So, Storm Shadow does come with three bows. I mean, I'm sorry, three arrows, as you can see here. Decently painted. And not only that, but these three arrows actually fit right in here. So, you can actually put the three arrows in there. Very cool. I like this because I don't, I, I've always been a fan of the loose pieces. I don't like the static ones that stay stuck in there. Like, it comes already because I like to mess around with these. I like to have them. You know, like, like flared out. All right, so he does come with that. He does, of course, come with his bow. You can't have the arrows without the bow. Then he does come with two swords. Well, actually, a sword and a knife. You can kind of say this is a sword, too, but a sword and a knife. And the paint on there is very good for actual for miniatures. Like, you can see, it does resemble metal. It has that nice chrome metallic look on it. And the handle is just a black. At the end, has that chrome, too. So you can see there. So he does have the weapons too. And those easily slipped into the hands just like this. As you can see, boom. And there you go. So Storm Shell is cool so far. And they all come with a little peg stand. All right. So now let's go ahead and look at Cobra Commander. And Cobra Commander, detail on Cobra Commander, man. Nice reflection on his mask right there. The basic, oh, look, see, that's one thing I like, too. Look, he has a little holster for the knife. That's cool. Little added feature there. I like that they have these little added, because you guys, like I tell you guys, you guys know me. I I do not like keeping my figures, accessories in the box. I'd rather have them on the figure. I'm hoping that they can all hold the accessories correctly. And I'd rather have them on the figure. And this guy can hold his accessories right there. So 
So here's the belt. Good attention to detail. Same articulation as Storm Shadow. Nice jacket design there. You can see the belt, the chrome on the belt right there, the metal buckle. Definitely looks cool. And Cobra Commander does come with. See, now this is a knife. Now this is the knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So he does come with his knife. Same design, paint and everything on there. And that actually will fit on this little slit right here. There we go. As you can see there, very cool. I like that. The fact that little tiny figures like this have slots for the accessories. And then he does come with his hand his handgun, as you can see there. Plain and simple. Now, let's look at the other man, Destro. So Destro, you can see already, Destro has those lips. And you can see him already painted and detailed on that mask. And I love that, man. Like, look, especially when the... When the light hits here, you don't really see it, but when the light hits down this angle, you can see his eyebrows and the detail more. He looks so damn menacing right there. They gave him the necklace, so they definitely pay attention to detail. You got the chest there. He got his little gauntlet there with the rockets. Definitely an iconic piece of Destro, as you can see. Has the collar going all the way around, which is cool. And it's movable, so the chest piece is right there. And he's not hindered of articulation with that collar. Nice rockets here. Same thing with him. He has a slot there for an accessory right there, which is very cool. Do like this a lot, man. The belt is somewhat movable. Same articulation also. And, of course, being a weapons dealer, Destro has to come with his little briefcase. So definitely cool. I'm not sure if it opens. Let's see if it opens. Yo, look, it does open. Look at that. That's very cool, very cool. No detail inside, but I like the fact that it does open. You can actually put... Any of the accessories that fit in there, you want to put in the box. And then he does come with his pistol. Which, as you know, according to the pictures right here, looks like it could somewhat slit into here, maybe. Let's see. I'm not sure how that would fit. Maybe sideways. I don't know. I'll figure this out. But it looks like it would go in there. I don't want to take up much. Oh, there you go. So I'll slide it in there eventually. But yeah, it, looks like it, it does go in that holster right there. And there's Destro. And of course, my favorite, I'm telling you guys, Baroness is my favorite female character in G.I. Joe. Heroes, Joes, or Cobra. Something about the glasses. I've always liked the dark black hair. And just her, her accent. And just, she, oh man, Baroness is, she's the gem, man. So of course, you got, this is the... It's not the original. I think if everyone correct, the original Baroness suit was more of like a bluish color. But this is the more iconic suit that she normally wears. As you can see, the detail all across the chest, the arms. She has little slits that she does have on her costume, the gauntlets. Now, real quick, so I want to see her articulation. So, yes, so her articulation is a little bit hindered because of the hair. But you could put the, hair, the head forward and then articulate more. So she can still do the full 360. Just got to mess with the hair. But I do like the fact that you could detail the face. The lipstick, the glasses are very well painted. Those are her eyes. You have the cobra sign there on her chest, all through the back. And then let's look at her accessories. So she only comes with the rifle, which you can see here. These are pretty detailed for such small pieces, man. Yeah, they're not painted. You know, could add a little paint there, a little paint here. But very detailed. And that slits in easily in her hand also, as you can see. And you can put it any hand, and she can be ready for action. All right, so there goes your articulation on most of them. All the detail on these cool little miniature figures. Man, I cannot wait to get more of these. Um, I definitely need a Snake Eyes. Definitely need to get a Snake Eyes to go with my Storm Shadow. And probably a Scarlet to go with against my Baroness. But there you go. There's the four figures, all the accessories and all the stands. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison, and then we'll get to the final thoughts and final poses. So there we have the four figures in the four-pack standing here with the base on there because they can stand a lot better. Ready for size comparison. So let's go ahead and bring another figure in here for size comparison. This is another Mini Mate, and this is going to be the Mini Mates Shredder from the Turtle Blimp Pack. Now let's go ahead and bring in a different line, and this is going to be the SH Figure Arts Kid Gohan.
Now let's go ahead and bring in a different line again. And this is going to be Takara Tommy Transformers Masterpiece Bumblebee. And last but not least, this is going to be a different SH Figure Arts figure. And this is going to be the SH Figure Arts Pac-Man. I figure it brings some nostalgia into the size comparison. So there you go. Different figures and one within the same line. Just in case you have any of these figures in your collection currently. And you can see if these mini mates fit into your collection or your display. All right, let's go ahead and do the final thoughts and final poses. So here goes all four figures with all of their accessories on them. As you can see, Storm Shadow, you can fit the bow on the back of that quiver. That way you don't have to actually have it in box or in another hand or lay on the floor. But I want to make sure every character that comes with more than one accessory is dual right here. The only one that does not come with more than one accessory is Baroness. But hey, she's good. She's good. It's Baroness, man. She's good. That's all she needs. But these, like the weapons were easy to put on. That bow was simply was simple to put over the quiver. Um, the suitcases goes in perfect. I'm still trying to figure out that holster on Destro. I'm gonna try to see if I can put the other, you know, the gun in the other way. Uh, but still trying to mess with that. But yeah, man, I just want to have them all with their weapons on this stand. And these are pretty cool so far. Uh, I can say like I'm a big turtle fan, but I am enjoying these more than the turtles one so far. Maybe because the turtle one only comes with one turtle, and you have you know you don't have, you don't have much from there, but you have Shredder. But these just I don't know they hit the mark like from the cartoon more to me than the turtles one. I'm not sure, but the it's just the colors too. Like the color on Cobra Commander pops in person. I like that. The red on on uh, Destro is pretty cool, but these they look cool, man. They look cool in person. They look cool to have in hand, and they look better with the weapons on, in my opinion. So in this final pose, we got Cobra Commander yelling, Attack Cobra! And you see there, Baron just points at Destro. Pull the gun out the package, out the, the suitcase right there. So you see Destro's pulling the gun out to hand to Baroness, and you never know what else he has in there. Is it a suitcase kind of like Link from Legend of Zelda where you can just basically put anything in there and pull anything out? I don't know. With Destro, he, you know, he's that dealer, so he may have that good stuff. You, know, you never know where he gets it from. Right there, you have Storm Shadow. Yes, you can actually pose them with the bow and arrow equipped. Took a little time, but thankfully that arrow has a little peg. I mean, the bow has a little peg on there that you can fit the arrowhead into there and adjust the hands from there. So you could have Storm Shadow shooting the bow and arrow. And man, I'm having fun with these figures so far. These, I, I enjoyed the Ninja Turtle ones, but these kind of... I don't know, they're, they're a little bit more fun to mess with for some reason. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not, I don't know what it is. Honestly, I can't tell you guys what it is. Um, I, I love the turtle one so far. Uh, these, I was never expecting to pick up mini mates. I never even heard of them. I saw my last review. I never even heard of the mini mates until New York Comic Con. And thankfully, Diamond Select Toys had these on display and I was able to see them. And I, like, I would have completely missed these amazing little figures. Yes. I mean, they're not even expensive either. So, if you're the type of collector that likes to have like obscure things in your collection that are based on stuff that you do collect or your favorite cartoon or movie growing up, these are cool things to have because, like I said, they're not expensive. You can have them on your desk. Those bases are awesome. I wish NECA would integrate the bases they use here because NECA, you know, the bases they have with the little pegs and everything are crap because those things are always breaking off. These bases are strong and, you, you know, these figures are not going nowhere in the base. So you can have these figures displayed anywhere on a desk, above a cabinet or something, and not have to worry about them falling over and just basically grab them and dust them off easily. So definitely gives you the vibe. It definitely strikes the chord of that nostalgia feel when you see these figures, especially that amazing packaging. I hope they don't go away from that packaging. But like I said, it does hurt me opening those damn packages. I wish I, I might have to pick another copy of this just to have them in the packaging still because I love the way those card the cards look. And I'm having fun. Like I said, I was not expecting much from these mini mates, and I have to admit, they surprised me, man. Like I, I'm having fun with them. You know, I don't have to worry about them as much as with my more expensive collectibles, and that's always a plus. It's always a good thing to have some other things you can just one day just pick up and play with, and just mess around with, and have a little fun, get your mind off of things and instead of having to figure an expensive collectible just stand there and you're like nervous to touch or nervous to mess around with. So those, that's why I like these little obscure things because it, it's it's like relief in a way as a collector so i hope you guys enjoyed these little figures if you did please hit that like subscribe button click that bell notification and go to diamond select 
website and pick up these figures. I want to thank Diamond Selected once again for allowing me to do the review on these figures right here. I look forward to doing more of the Mini Mates and possibly some other stuff, so we shall see. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit that like, subscribe button, click that bell notification, and as always, collectors, keep collecting, stay safe, be good, Dolly! Cobra! We need Serpentor. Cobra la 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 la.